What's up, everybody? What what knife show is this? Uh, Tuesday. What? <laughs> fifteen. Knife show fifteen, <laughs> and our featured knife is the new Spyderco exclusive. That's right, Lava Flow DLC coated blade. That's our knife of the week this week, and we've got a great show lined up for you with a lot of new knives, news, and our picks. Just in time for Christmas. So, ching ching ching. Let's light it up. So, um, we've already gone over uh, our new exclusive, Spyderco PM2 in the Lava Flow. Um, yeah, that video came out uh, yeah, uh, Monday. Monday. Monday, yeah. yeah two today, days ago. Today is Wednesday. Um, so, yeah. And that was that was a lot of fun doing. Uh, we got to we got to shoot that video on my birthday and got to do a lot of that was crazy a lot of climbing uh, around and we got to really become one with the store that day. Yes, yes. Um, Found a lot of great hiding spots. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Found a lot of great uh, couple spider webs. <laughs> couple spots that if either of us gain a few more pounds, we'll probably never be able to get back into. Uh, yep. These. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> um. But yeah, so uh, we've got some great knives, news, new knives, new news, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, um, like, so this is our feature knife. It might not be available at this point, yeah, but if, if it is, you better like... Yeah, if this is still available, and we're not sure, because we're recording this in advance, so if this is still available, you better jump on it. Um, if not, sorry, that's the way it goes. Um, yeah, you you definitely don't want to miss out on this one. This one is one that we've been eyeballing. This yeah. one's personally my favorite out of the three that we've, we've yeah. This so one's far. this one's killer looking. Um, now, uh, in uh, industry news, one thing that that come up last week that has been, um, I guess, talked about by a lot of people is Joe Flowers, that you know from. Uh, working with Condor and being the lead designer for Condor Knife and Tool is actually going to be doing some designing for Artisan Cutlery. He's not leaving Condor. He's still going to be working for them, but he's also wanting to branch out and work with some uh, some newer age steels, and Artisan Cutlery is, is giving him the opportunity to do that with Artisan and CJRB. So he's going to be doing some designs with them coming up very soon, and that's that's really exciting. I'm, uh, I mean, Joe's an awesome dude. Um, one of the most colorful and one of the most uh, high-strung people I've met in this business so far. I mean, the guy. A lot, is, of, a lot of energy. Yes, a lot of energy and awesome dude. Really great guy to, to talk to and hang out with, um, and a lot of great knowledge. So uh, that's new and I think news. I think one of my favorite videos of his is he had it on Instagram, and I, I think it got took down, but he was literally by this pond, and you just see his hand grabs in like this murky water and pulls out an alligator and the only thing he says is Joe Flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a really cool personality there. Um, also coming up very soon in just over a month actually is going to be SHOT Show. Uh, shooting, hunting, outdoor trade show in Las Vegas. We are going to be there and we're going to be bringing you all kinds of content from the knife world there at SHOT Show and from the outdoor world at SHOT Show. So we're really excited about that. Um, really excited to see what these manufacturers are going to be coming out with. As you know, there's a lot of overlap in the firearms and in the uh, knife industry. So as far as outdoor hunting, that kind of thing, as well as uh, accessories. You know, Hogue got their start making grips for uh, handguns, and now they make some amazing knives. Uh, they want, they're the ones that really pioneered G10 as far as handle material. So, um, I mean, and that's just one small example. So we're really excited about going to uh, SHOT Show and bringing you some awesome content from there. So stay tuned for that. Also coming up is the new year. And with the new year means new announcements for new product and new models across the board from stuff everyone that we've been sitting on and for a while. yeah uh so we've got some stuff that's going to be released that we that we can't talk about and we can't show anybody until the first of january um from several different companies so stay tuned for that that's going to be a lot of really good really juicy content coming up because all the new models are about to come out and uh, you're about to know about them and we're going to let you about to know 
You're about to know. Europe. You're, no, we can't you're, ship there. You're, <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, anyways. So, um, let's get right into it. Uh, we got some new knives. Let's go straight into the new knives. But before we get into new knives, we got a new product from Tor that's kind of cool. And I kind of like this thing. It's called the Thumper. Now, I'm sure you can imagine what this is for. And this is going... We're not going to be able to ship this everywhere because its legality in some areas is probably going to be questionable. But this is a keychain is what I'm considering it. This is a keychain for me. Um it's got the loop right there. We're going to show that one up close. It's got the it's got the loop right there. I consider that a keychain loop, um, but this just happens to fit right over your hand right there, and <laughs> it's a great it's a great ring. I mean, it's it's a large ring, so it's for a large fingers. But yeah, I like that. I think it's cool. This one's in the brass. We've got it in copper and bronze as well, and um, these things are coming in at thirty five dollars and from a company that does great machine work and i think these are really cool i I think they're i think they're neat so that's a new item from tour that we've got um and like i said it comes in the three different colors what do you think about that i think these knuckles don't need them (laughs) (laughs) oh i'm just kidding all right dan now that would definitely not like a man boy don't think uh think anybody would want to take a hit from that no but yeah no definitely something uh if you feel like you need it in a parking lot leaving a place it's kind of sketchy that's gonna bust some stuff up uh, so. you know have this this one hand your pepper spray in the other and probably be clutching a knife at the same time too so right I mean, you just you just be ready to go ready to wail <laughs> um another new one is going to be this k-bar camp turok and uh, this one's been really popular and i really like the design on this first of all i like the updated sheath that they've got with this and um, i'm going to show in just a minute how that interacts and how the retention works on that because it's really cool um but this is a uh, Jiraz design from k-bar um and this one's coming in with a 1095 crovan steel it's the camp turok drop point blade black coated finish um, and a brown ultra mid polyamide handle. It's a full tang fixed blade, and we're going to show it from above right now. It's also got the integrated lanyard loop there in the back end. It's 13 inches overall, weighs in at 12.8 ounces, made here in the USA in Olean, New York. And that one's coming in at 109.95. That is a beast right there. And before we started filming, I already said that this looks like a great candidate for Willie Cut at some point down the road. Well, a lot of K-Bar stuff is yeah. a great candidate. And, and for what you're getting, you're not going to find a better deal for a hunk of 1095 than yeah. you will with K-Bar. They, they, they've got great prices on all their stuff. Yeah. And for uh, a good portion of it to be made in the USA is, yeah. is really a, a touch on that, too. Because this one's, this one's not coming in at a hefty price for no. uh, that much still. It's, what is it? One, 109. 109. <clears throat> yeah. So, and so and I, wanted so to, I wanted to show this really quick here. Um, this is where the uh, finger choil on the handle or the, the finger guard, so to speak, engages with the Kydex sheath here. And you can see that's how it's retained in place by that little piece right there. And it's super sturdy. Like this thing is not coming out. It's not easy to pull out. Um, so it's not going to fall out on you, you know, when you're in the woods or something like that. That's a great chopper right there. And um, I like the design. I like the way it's made. I like the way the sheath works. So that's a cool one. Um, what do you want to do next? We got oh, we got several new knives. Well, we're jumping here. into the new year, so let's go ahead and <clears throat> show off that one. Yeah. So this is a new one from uh, Victorinox, and it is the we're coming into 2022, and every year they do their year of series, and 2022 is the year of the tiger. Um, as it pertains to the Chinese New Year. And so this one's coming out. And one thing I love about this series, they're collectibles, um, but they're also usable. Uh, This is their Huntsman series. So it's the Huntsman model, but it's got the Year of the Tiger graphics on it. And it's also been outfitted with uh, a lot of extras too. And when it comes to packaging, and we've talked about this over and over again, uh, 
packaging is is huge. So it comes with a certificate of authenticity with uh, the story behind the year of the tiger, and that's really cool. The box is really neat. Uh, it's a really nice collectible box. Slides open right there, and that's where you're going to find your huntsman knife. Um, comes with all the tools, and this thing's this thing's really cool. I, I like that whole series. Coming in ninety nine dollars, and for a great collectible from Victor Knox with a great presentation and a great collectible box that you can put it on display with if that's something you want to do if not you can de you can definitely use that thing so yeah and they're they're beautiful in design as well so yeah i definitely like them it's uh, a neat thing that victoria knox does that not many other companies do yeah and i, I like that they've in, incorporated in this one you know they've got their um their tool sets where you can replace like the toothpick and the tweezers and they've got different colors well they've already used those red ones to kind of complete the look on this so you can see that up close you can see the red toothpick and tweezers right there as well as the uh, eyeglass tool right there so um that's that's really neat really really neat yeah and next up is going to be our john wayne uh, the new john wayne case knife and this thing is really really neat um of course, I'm a huge fan of John Wayne, the Duke, and I guess, then this is something we've talked about before, is getting into uh, case knives and collecting case knives, If because if, Case does a lot of uh, really cool exclusive deals um, where they have officially licensed product, and if you're a fan of like John Deere or Chevrolet or Ford, um, in this case, John Wayne, um, this is a great opportunity to get into collecting case knives and uh, it's a it's a great start and i think this is a great example it's got the smooth bone um smooth white bone with john wayne etched in there and his silhouette as well as his signature and his duke emblem as well so really cool design it's going to be solid white bone on the back side there and it's going to be the traditional trapper pattern from case <clears throat> and this one's uh, coming in with the true sharp surgical steel blades and i said at that time i went ahead and blazed right through it just so that i could try to make it through that one yeah <laughs> brass pins Good brass job. liners and nickel silver bolsters on that one and uh that's a really cool one right there i like that one it's coming in at 98.99 and uh, a great collectible right there from case so yeah I like it because it's got my initials on it. JW. JW. John Ward. John Ward. And then with a little, you know, a tribute to Duke. Next up, we've got the new uh, QSB Pelican. Pelican? Yes, Pelican. That's what I thought. One of them birds. Yep. So that's something that QSB does with a lot of their knives. They, they've got them named after uh, different animals, different birds, that kind of thing. This one's the Pelican, and this is one of their higher-end ones. And this one's really, really cool. This one's coming in at $96.99. And reason being, so that's gray linen micarta on the handles. We're going to show this one up close. I want to show it on that camera. Can you see the Pelican and, in it? Yeah, absolutely. But, like, if you take its body and, like, Oh yeah, absolutely. So like, definitely see a pelican. In I just now noticed that when you told me, so I was like, "There's definitely a pelican in that." <laughs> so this one's coming in with uh, the gray linen micarta handles, um, which are really cool looking, really good looking, and uh, S35VN blade steel, and that's a nice hunk of blade right there, three point six three inches on that S35VN stainless steel worn cliff blade with a stone wash finish and the blade thickness of 0.14 inches it's a manual flipper with ceramic ball bearing pivots and uh, it's also got a tip up one way titanium pocket clip stainless steel liners also got the uh, what looks like i would say g10 or maybe frn spacer right there and um this thing is super comfortable and a, a nice beefy blade and great materials for not a lot of money, ninety six ninety nine. Um, anything under a hundred dollars for a premium powder blade steel, I think, is a great deal. So, yeah, that's a, well, it is quality, service, and price. Price. So, right on par with their mission statement, and uh, I like that. 
I think that's uh, I think that's that's good stuff. Is that all of our new stuff? That is all of our new stuff that we have to show right now. So that means we are on to our picks. So we uh, want to start out with budget. Yeah, I guess I, I guess I'm budget first, ain't it? Yeah. Yep. So uh, I actually picked my budget off of the best selling. Uh, cheapest knife that we we have in store. So, out of all of the 2021 sales, uh, the most and I guess most affordable, cheapest. Yeah. Like I, I was, I was amazed. Budget minded. This. Budget minded. Like we've sold a ton of these, and it is the uh, Elk Ridge Gentleman's Paco Wood, and you know. It comes in just right off the bat. So we've we've restructured our budget a little, our uh, picks a little bit. So our budgets now are under twenty dollars, and this one is yeah. just six ninety nine. <clears throat> so at six ninety nine, you are getting a really attractive looking knife. I think. Yeah. So I'll let you uh, show that. Thank off. you. Yes. So <clears throat> this is going to be a. Uh, I would say a, a traditional like trapper blade pattern design, not Kinda necessarily like a, a trapper, trapper handle. Yeah, not necessarily a trapper handle design. Similar, um, but uh, this one's going to have uh, stainless steel blades, satin finish, nail nick, slip joint lock, uh, gray and brown pocket wood handles, stainless steel pins, liners, bolsters, and spacers. Uh, 2.75 inches on the clip point and spade blades, 0. 0.06 inches thick, 3.5 and inches closed, and 6.25 inches overall. And I tell you what, those blades are coming in super, super sharp. Like, insanely sharp. Very sharp. It's a tight package for, for its price. It's, yeah. It's, it's welly, welly, well put together, I think. Yeah. For, for six ninety nine. What you got to find <clears throat> things to complain about at that point. Like... Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it's it, it's a phenomenal value, especially for the price that you get, um, and it's going to serve its purpose. And we will try to make sure these are back up online when this video airs. As of right now, they are kind of just an in-store purchase right now, but uh, we are working on that, so bear with us if it is not on there yet. But great stocking stuffer gift, yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And mine is going to be, uh, and we've talked about this series a lot on the channel, and it has been one of our biggest sellers and one of our most popular from our uh, Rough Rider brand, and that is our Old Southwest. This is the double lockback. So we haven't really shown this one as much as some of the others, like the Trapper and the Canoe and all that. Um, but this is the double lockback, and I find this pattern to be very unique and very interesting you don't see it a lot um but i like the design and i i mean this thing obviously speaks for itself with how beautiful it is um so let's go over the specs on that one this one's coming in at 17.99 uh 448 stainless steel blades um with the reverse frosted etched main blade with old southwest on it um handles are embossed nickel silver with synthetic red synthetic turquoise and genuine pearl inlay right there that's genuine pearl right there and these are coming in with uh, 2.125 inches on the on the two clip point blades right there uh one sixteenth of an inch thick point three point two five inches closed and weighs in at 2.75 ounces and that snap is great. That's why it was quiet right there, because that snap just sounds so satisfying. And what I like about these, not only are they lockbacks, but I like the ergonomics of them when you've got one blade open. I think, I think it just fits in the hand really nice. It's a very controllable blade and uh, a very solid design right there. I love that one. Yeah, I bought a couple of these for gifts last year, and everybody that got it loved it. Uh, it feels good in the hand. It's got good weight. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm the type of person I like enough to have a little bit of heft too. Yeah, so <clears throat> especially for that style, it definitely feels like every you know piece of material in there is is real. Yeah. it doesn't feel yeah. like it's just kind of like a painted on picture. It is little bitty intricate pieces yeah. that have been placed in there. So that's what makes it pretty special, in my opinion. Exactly. 
So what's your mid-range pick? And he said this before, he mentioned it before, but we've restructured this so that budget is under 20, mid-range is under 100, and high-end is anything over 100. Yeah. So. Yeah. So so for my under 100 pick, I really kind of just stumbled into this one. I hadn't really seen it before. And when I was looking at it, I was like, wow, that that kind of stands out to me and i'm a i'm a sucker for anything that's copper finished so yeah uh this is the the boker man how do you say that i would say kihon 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 it's one of those but it, it is a lucas burnley design it is assisted opening but it just fires right out of there it is d2 blade steel and it comes in at 9746 feels really good in the hand and i remember when i showed it to you you opened it up and you're like wow because it just it yeah i mean it, it flew out I, I i didn't realize when i picked it up that it was assisted i had not looked up any information feel like on it, it right away it kind yeah. of feels like it is just on a really good system there so and Lucas Burnley does a great job with designs. Whether he's designing for Boker or CRKT, it doesn't matter. Um, his designs are, are very ergonomic and very practical. And just love the feel of this knife. It's Like you said, it's got a good heft to it. Um, it's got a good feel to it. And whether you're using the thumb studs or the flipper itself, it is a liner lock um, and ha has just the one-way wire pocket clip, the spring pocket clip. I love. The, I actually like the po pocket clip on this one. Yeah, I do too. I think it just goes well with everything on it, and it, it flows really nice. I like the wire pocket clips, me personally, because I, I have I, I they don't have a tendency to catch on things and and like rip clothing or rip. They're a lot uh, easier you know. to put in on your pocket. Yeah, than I, I like them a lot. I like the way they work. Um, some people don't. That's personal preference. That's the way it goes. Um, but yeah, I really like that one right there. That's a. That's a good solid pick right there coming in at 97.46. So my mid-range pick under 100 is going to be one that uh, I've been carrying for a while now. This is my personal one. It's the Appalachian Drifter 2 from Civivi. And I'm really digging this thing for the price and for the style. I love this thing. It's a front flipper, but this one's really cool with the way that it is. So let's look at this one up close. It's got a cutout almost like a long pull at the top of that exaggerated clip point blade and so the way that i usually open it and the way that's most fun for me is by reverse flicking it just like that and it that thing just freaking pops right out i love the blade style on this i love that it's it's very classic looking to me that exaggerated clip point especially with the swedge on top there and this is s35 v in blade steel this one's coming in at 9350 um dark brown micarta handles with the um it's uh carbon fiber on those faux bolsters there so it looks it makes it look a little bit more traditional makes it look like it actually has a bolster and that is going to be carbon fiber and uh, dark brown micarta uh satin finish on that blade front flipper so that's the other cool thing is i do like front flippers because it just adds another fidget factor so you can do the thumb roll right there or you can do it with your index finger just like that right there and it pops right out um this is a uh single detent when it's closed it is a liner lock um and just a really really cool knife uh measurements coming in 2.96 inches on that clip point blade 0 0.10 inches thick very slicey very thin and uh, 3.96 inches closed 6.8 inches overall and weighs in at just 2.45 ounces and I, I'm I'm really digging this blade. This one's this one's definitely one of my favorites, and uh, super sharp. And in my personal favorite, blade steel. So all around. Yeah, I like to think of it as a uh, if you if you like the pinas and you can't really afford one or don't yep. want to spend spend that money on one, this is kind of like a, a poor man's pina. Poor man's pina. I'm just gonna stop there. <laughs> 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 so yeah, I mean, it, it definitely has a lot. It's a very fidgety knife. I remember Sean Chester. He's a guy that does a lot of um, some of our designs. Takes a lot of the pictures that we post, yeah. post up, and he had shown us this one and got it. And 
definitely is uh, for the blade steel, the fidget factor, and the classic look of it. Uh, I think this is something we were talking about a couple of months ago. Like, I wish there was more classic designs with a modern touch to it. Yeah, yeah. Perfect example of of what we were wanting. So it, it does just enough of each thing, being a, a modern type folder, but still paying homage to the classic lines, the classic designs and that kind of thing. I, I think it's, it's a great combination of those two. So that is my mid range pick. Now on to our high end picks. So I went pretty high on my high end pick. Not too high, just moderately. Yeah. No, it was high. Water. It was high. It, it, this is, this is high. You but blew me out of the water. It is a huge fan base. I went with a microtech and this one is the Dirac. And it, you pointed this one out to me, and I was like, "Yeah, I think I'll pick that one for yeah, for the I, show." It's one one of my, I guess, biffs, riffs, what do you call it? Uh, things with micro peeves with Microtech that I think kind of is, is a little difficult for people is the opening mechanism. Yeah, like, some of them can be kind of stiff. They, some of them can be kind of hard to open. So if you you've got weak hands or arthritis in your hands, you might have a hard time uh, open some of their mechanisms uh this one right here changes all of that yeah uh this one to me is is just as easy as the exosets and yeah m maybe even easier yeah so yeah i do like that design um i like the i like the switch being on the side as opposed to on the top or bottom yeah so it, right there you'll see uh most the the ultra techs will have the oh, the uh, switch right here on the edge of it yeah this one's right in the the front and it just make you can get a better grip up yeah. on it with your it's hand. Yeah, it's a great, you get a great purchase on that. And the the switch actually, I mean, with the with the cuts on it, with the milling done on that switch, you get a great uh, feel on the switch as well. It's very tactile. Yeah, I, I, I really like a lot of things about this. I like, I like the black on the blade. I like the, I mean, it's not black all over the blade. They've went and done... Yeah, you know, left some edges to be still seen, and it's one of my favorite blade steels, M three ninety. Yeah, uh, it's a hard one to beat. Uh, and I'll let you go over the uh, the, the, the specy part the of specifications. it. Specifications. So, when taking a look at this Dirac, Dirac, whatever, uh, however it's pronounced, M three ninety, like you said, M three ninety blade steel, uh, black Cerakote finish on the blade, um, dual action out the front, automatic. Thumb slide open and lock. Black anodized 6061 T6 aluminum handles. Tip down pocket clip with the glass breaker. And that is reversible right there. And this one's coming in 2.92 inches long on that dagger blade. 0 0.09 inches thick. Very thin. Very slicey. And uh, 4.33 inches closed. 7.25 inches overall. Coming in at 2 point three seven ounces that thing's beautiful i like it i like it a lot and one of those might eventually find its way into my collection yeah eventually it's really not a terrible price yeah. for a microtech no it's coming in at uh two what 297 297 mm -hmm. yeah 293 excuse me oh, 293 on that one cheaper um and i was looking today another one that uh that we have as well um, is this same model, but with the apocalyptic finish on the blade, that uh, kind of bronzed apocalyptic finish. I love that. Um, yeah. And it's also serrated on one side and not serrated on the other. That one's coming in, I think, at like 323 or 332, something like that. So uh, not much more for another really cool finish. Uh, I like both of them. I just like, I like this design. I like this model a lot from Microtech. So that's a good pick. That's a really good pick. And for my high-end pick, I'm going to go with one that we haven't really talked really at all about. And uh, and um, I've been looking at these and, and been kind of handling these for a while. And I, I love the fit and finish on these things. Uh, it's from a company called PMP Knives. And so a little bit of background, uh, PMP is uh, started, was founded by a guy named Patrick Holenstein um, from, where's he from? Switzerland. He's from Switzerland. And he's got designers that work for him all over the world. And they make 
beautiful, beautiful knives. And like I said, the fit and finish is fantastic. And this is another one of those classic design with some modern materials. And so if you look at this, and we're going to take a close, a close look, that's going to be titanium handles on that with the reversible pocket clip, the wire pocket clip. But this is going to be a slip joint. So this is going to be a classic slip joint with Bowler M390 blade steel and a satin finish, double-sided nail nicks. So nail nicks on both sides, not just one. This is the Harmony model, by the way. And this is a traditional slip joint, reversible tip-up wire pocket clip, lanyard hole as well, 3-inch drop point blade, 0.12 inches thick, four inches closed and seven inches overall weighing in at just 2.87 ounces and i think the titanium looks extremely classy and uh this thing is just beautiful and the walk and talk is insane on that thing um i think it's really cool and, and another wire clip yeah yeah so i i really I, i'm i'm digging their stuff this one's coming in at just 190 so 190 for uh super premium materials um in a classic slip joint pattern i, I think that's really cool and um really well made well designed yeah i like them a lot too uh it kind of reminds me of a line still in a little bit yeah of a way. yeah so the very classy design very simple in it but simple done well yeah yeah absolutely so that is my high-end pick um and i guess the only thing left to do is a uh, pocket dump okay. what are you carrying today uh today i am carrying i think i was car- <laughs> oh, <laughs> i think i was carrying this one on the uh cut that mic cord last show uh kinzu i carry this one a lot the from case i've really grown pretty fond of it uh, it's it's not for the year i mean yeah <laughs> so yeah uh, i i really like it i carry it a lot and i like seeing people's reaction when i tell them i got a case knife and i pull this out and they're like oh yeah that's a case knife I'm like, yeah it's a case knife s35 can't beat it exactly really actually there's a really good price on s35 yeah for the yeah doing that. very good deal very good deal he's carrying a rough rider i am carrying a rough rider today i am i've got my hoof pick rough rider <clears throat> from jaylen taylor so uh this one is uh from jaylen taylor art um she actually takes uh a lot of our rough rider smooth white bones and she does scrimshaw art on them and she did a fantastic job on this uh with the saloon girl design that she uh, made she does pinup art um she sent us a bunch of stickers that we've got on our sticker wall right now so i am carrying my rough rider equestrian tool hoof pick and um i'm i'm really digging this thing uh, i i love this thing also i'm carrying one other one that i haven't carried in a really long time this was actually the first i guess uh high-end knife that i bought i i would say it, it would fall in our high-end picks um as they stand now it's over a hundred dollars um and this was the first one that I that I actually spent money on after I started working here. And uh, this was my Kaiser Beg Lighter. Um, titanium uh, with ceramic ball bearing pivots, uh, S35 VN blade steel, Tonto blade. And um, I absolutely love that knife right there. Um, that's, that's one of my favorites all time. And it was one of my first purchases after I started working here. So pretty sleek. Yeah, super smooth. How is your Charizard doing? My Charizard, I didn't bring it today. <laughs> I finally bought one of my lifetime childhood wants, and that was a uh, hollow Charizard card because I have adult money now, and I make adult purchases. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's really embarrassed if he's turning your head right now, but I was not going to let him get through the show without bringing up his Charizard. So no No knife this month. It was a Charizard. well folks uh this has been fun uh talk to us down in the comments below 
What's that? Christmas sales still going on. Yeah. You'll have uh, four, yeah, we got, four days left. Yeah, we got a few more days left on our 12 days of Christmas, and we've got Christmas coming up, so we're going to have all kinds of sales leading up to Christmas and, as well. So, oh my gosh, I can't believe we almost forgot to talk about it, but on the 15th, we are bringing back... Knives Live TV, 12 hours. 12-hour Knives Live TV marathon. We're going to have a bunch of special guests, including Josh Hill, Tony Watkins, Tyler might pop in on us. Um, we uh, might, Shane Adams. Shane Adams is going to pop in on us from SE Knives. Maybe some more people. <clears throat> Maybe a few more people if we can get them convinced to come on with us. So um, we're going to have some great special guests. We're going to be selling a lot of knives, and we're going to be featuring a ton of knives over the course of 12 hours. We're really excited about it. So It'll be a long day, but yep. it'll be one to remember and one for the books. So. It's going to be a lot of fun, so be sure to join us. That's on the 15th, December 15th, starting at 11 a.m. Yeah, so, so now... 11 to 11. I want to show them. No. You can't show them that. Show no. You can't show them that yet. I want to show them. They'll, they'll know soon. <laughs> they will know soon enough. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Um, Isaac. TC. And remember... I forgot. Really? I'm just kidding. If it carries, we cut it. If it cuts, we carry it. <laughs> nah. huh <laughs>